The only way that you're gonna get better at making video content is When I think of great athletes like Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Kobe Bryant, there's a word that keeps coming back to my brain over and over again, and that word is practice. One of the things that made them great was their drive and their effort and their consistency in their practice. And the same is true with anything else in life, anyone else who is great. Even Jerry Seinfeld is someone who wrote jokes every single day, even if he didn't want to. It's a form of practice and practicing your craft is really what's gonna make you get better. And so today I wanted to give some helpful tips and some helpful advice for people who want to practice making videos. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Larry G. I am a video strategist and creator. And on this channel, I give helpful advice and tips to people who want to create videos. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, follow along. Now, the first tip that I have is that you actually have to make a decision that this is something that you want to do. Making videos is, it can be easy, but truthfully, it's not the easiest thing in the world, especially if you want to get good. And good is subjective. Some people think good is, you know, things that I do. Some people think good is things that other people do, and that's fine. I think the, the main point is you have to, if you want to get to your definition of good, you have to decide that, you know, you're gonna do it. And Myron Golden describes a decision as different than a choice. A lot of people confuse the word choice and decision. A choice means that, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can do something else. A decision is I'm gonna do this and that's it. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but in my life, I know that once I make a true decision, there is no going back. It's the same as burning the ships whenever you jump ship. It's the same as burning a bridge. You can't go back. There is no other option. And so if getting good at video is something that you truly want to do, you need to essentially burn the bridge. There is no other option. I'm going to get good at video and there is no other option. For me, a decision that I made this year was I'm going to put out YouTube videos consistently. I am going to show people my process. I'm going to talk about video creation. That was a decision. It's not a choice. It's not a, I'm only gonna do it when I feel like it. It's I'm gonna do it when I feel like it, when I don't feel like it. I always have something to say and no matter what, I'm gonna sit down and make a video. Now that doesn't mean that you exhaust yourself and whenever you need a break, you don't take it. That's not what that means. It just means that you are going to consistently put forth effort to do the thing. And that truly is the first step to practicing. You have to decide that you are going to practice. Now that you've made your decision, you have to prepare. And that's my second tip. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Lion King. And one of my favorite songs in that whole movie is Be Prepared by Scar. Just a fun fact. But being prepared is actually a tip that will save you whenever you are trying to practice. And by being prepared, I mean in all aspects. Since this is a channel more about cameras and camera gear and filmmaking and video content, that means bringing your gear. You cannot practice without your gear. And I had a question on my last video. It was a very good question. It was, how do you bring your gear out in public and out into the wilderness and not be 
afraid that things are going to break or get stolen. I'm paraphrasing. I'll put the real question up. But that's essentially the question. And the best answer that I can give you is that I am afraid. I'm afraid that when I film downtown, someone could come by and snatch my stuff. I'm afraid that if I'm out here carrying this around out here, if I were to encounter an animal or anything that would frighten me, there's a very real chance that I could drop this and run away. There's rocks and the terrain is challenging and I'm carrying this out. All of this is, I mean, I have a cage on it, but you know, if I trip and fall and this is in my hand, it's gone. So one of the ways that I am prepared in that way is that one, I'm wearing the right shoes. I'm wearing hiking shoes and I'm taking my time and I'm being careful. I'm not rushing through trails. I'm not rushing to get to a specific destination. I'm taking my time and I'm moving slow so that I can protect my gear as best I can while also trying to use it. One of the traps that a lot of people who want to get into this fall into is babying and protecting their gear. Yes, I know this stuff is expensive. I, I really know this stuff is expensive because I'm spending my own money to purchase it and use it. But if I want the beautiful shots, the beautiful nature shots, the beautiful downtown shots, the shots of myself going around and doing things, I don't have many friends here. And the ones that I do have don't really know how to use cameras. And the ones that do know how to use cameras are out using their cameras, making money. So it's up to me to learn how to film myself right now. And the only way I'm gonna do that is by taking the gear out and doing it myself. So being prepared and making sure I pack extra batteries, making sure I pack, you know, the lens or the lens filters that I want, making sure I'm bringing the batteries and the cables needed to actually use the gear. You have to be prepared, wear the right shoes, wear the right clothes, bring sunscreen if you need it, bring bug spray if you need it. You know, making that checklist before you even leave the house helps a ton when you are put in a situation where, you know, you need to access all of those things. And so being prepared really is, you know, step number two, if you want to get out and practice. The third tip that I have for practicing video filmmaking is make a plan about what you're going to practice. One of the best pieces of advice that I've ever gotten about practice is whenever you're practicing, make sure you're focusing on one to two things at a time. When I played basketball, we would do these drills and anyone who's played sports or basketball specifically, you know what a drill is. It's basically where you focus on one portion of a skill at a time. So when we were doing layup drills, you are practicing your layups. That is what you're practicing. That's the only thing you're practicing. You're not practicing crossovers. You're not practicing dribbles. You're not practicing trick shots. You are practicing layups, a basic skill. And so the same principle applies whenever you want to do video filmmaking or making video content. One session, you need to practice getting your settings right. If you always shoot in auto and you don't like that look and you want to practice shooting in manual, well, I suggest one session you go out and you only focus on shutter speed. Learn what shutter speed is and then practice the different modes of it. Practice fast shutter speed, practice slow shutter speed, practice the correct shutter speed. Then practice aperture, practice wide aperture, narrow aperture, aperture priority mode. Then if you want to practice framing, practice, you know, using your rule of thirds grid, practice putting things in different third groups. You want to practice. And then if you want to practice speaking on camera, there are several exercises that you can do that would be super helpful for getting better at speaking on camera. One of them is speaking into the mirror, practicing writing an outline, practicing delivering your outline with the camera on and with the camera off. There are a ton of different tactics and ways to get better at creating videos, whether you want to be behind the camera or in front of the camera and deciding which skill you're gonna practice is really gonna determine 
how you go out and practice that day. So like today, I am practicing with a monitor and shooting handheld. I've set this camera up with a cage and a handle and a top handle and a monitor and all of these things. And my only goal today is to get solid, smooth footage shooting handheld. Last week, I was practicing setting up the monitor and being able to use the monitor the way that I want to be able to use it. So making sure I bring the batteries, making sure I know how to plug it in, making sure I know how to set it up, making sure I know how to adjust any of the settings on the monitor to make sure that I'm getting the most out of my investment. Every time you go out and practice, you wanna focus on a specific thing so that you're not scatter shooting and so that you're focused and you can actually get better at one thing at a time. At the end of the last video, I mentioned that I wanted to show you guys what practice looks like. And I wanted to talk about what practice looks like. And this is it. It's picking up your gear, being prepared, making a plan, and going out and doing it. The only way that you're gonna get better at making video content is to make more video content. And I know that that can be scary uh, if you're bringing expensive gear. It can be scary being on camera. It can be scary filming in public or filming at all, not knowing what to say or not knowing what to make videos about. If you're someone who wants video ideas, I've created a completely free resource. I'll link it down below. It's 50 video ideas for people with businesses or people who wanna get started in content creation. And all you have to do is fill in the blank or answer the question. These are video ideas that anyone can manipulate and make their own and start creating content. If you're someone who has all of the ideas and you really just want a guide on how to be consistent, I also have a guide linked down below. That is $10. Uh, it's a great way to support this channel if you wanna get consistent with making YouTube videos. If any of those things interest you, I hope that you would check out the link down below. If this video brought you any value, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Until next time, thank you for watching. Remember to do the work, believe in yourself, and most importantly, keep creating. Peace.